everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul and if I look a little funny, that's probably because I just had a root canal so it's been a couple of hours and I'm still waiting for everything to like kind of wear off but I do have some cold items and I just wanted to haul it and go ahead so I apologize if I sound a little bit funny hopefully my mouth will be back to normal soon so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started so the first things that I picked up were actually these Essentials collapsible containers and these are the cloth ones. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit larger than the normal ones that they carry. They're 10 and a half by 11 inches and I picked up four of these and this is actually going to be um, for my project. I have a hutch over here that I just restored and um, I wanted to have some storage for it so I figured for four dollars that was a great deal and I'm gonna go ahead and get started and use those. Um, if you guys are curious about what it looks like when it's done, you know, just leave me a comment and let me know and I'll go ahead and film it so you can see it too. The next group of items is all, you know, kind of random things. There's some things that are beauty related, some things for kind of Mother's Day and I thought I'd show you guys. So the first one is actually this eye mask and you guys have heard me talk about this before but I picked this one up for my mom. Uh, particularly because this is one of my favorites and I think she'll really love it too and it's kind of like a good excuse for someone to pamper themselves a little bit. Also, I picked up these really cute bath sponges and these are from the April Bath and Shower and I haven't seen these before but it has almost like a, kind of like a floral pattern to them and they're quite large so it's pretty good value. Um, I picked up the pink but they had um, I think blue and green um, as well so if you're looking for like a cute little um, you know kind of present or just for yourself it's definitely a great deal. Also picked up these items as well and these are the ribbon elastics and I thought they were adorable because of the little polka dot print. And then also I picked up some animal print socks and if you guys have larger feet like I do, you know, if you're in the 9 to 11 size range, um, Dollar Tree does carry stuff in that size so if you're looking for some cute socks, definitely check there. These were new to our Dollar Tree and I found four different colors so I picked up all four. These are the Diamond Cosmetics Jumbo Lip Pencils and it says it's a perfect lip liner as well. This one is in XOXO and it looks like a really pretty um, kind of, you know, rose colored. And there was this one which I'm most excited about. This is the Sweethearts Orchid color and it is a purple color so I'm definitely going to swatch these and show you guys. Um, this is also the Spicy Classic Chic one, which is a really lovely kind of raisin color. And then this one, which is called Smitten Kitten, and it's a nude color, which I think is really pretty. So um, I will do a separate video and give you guys kind of like an overview and show you some swatches as well. The next couple of items are super cute and if you are an organization kind of junkie or you just love, you know, springtime type of things, um, I would definitely check them out. But I found this and I fell in love with it I thought it would be so cute for my mom. And this is um, a little notebook and this one says um, like chocolate and has some writing in French and really cute birds and on teacup. They have whole matching sets of everything there but I thought that was really beautiful and I picked up that. And then also this pen, which is just like an easy grip pen, and it has little daisies on it, uh, which I thought was really pretty. And they also had matching sticky notes, so they have a set of the sticky notes, and then also these little tabs that you can put, you know, on books or on your planner or anything. So if you guys are looking for, you know, inexpensive planner supplies, I would definitely check out Dollar Tree. Also, I found this magnetic list pad and, you know, if you're anything like me, you're always taking, you know, trying to write down a list to remember things. At least I do that. And I thought this was really, really pretty. And if you're looking for like an easy Mother's Day gift, I think this would be a great addition, you know, just because it's so fun and spring-like. Also, I found this purse hanger and they have four different kinds, I believe. One is a blue, um, this one was the black and pink one and I thought that was super cute. They also had one um, that was black with gray, so um, if you're just looking for like a really cute, you know, purse hanger, definitely check them out as well. And I found this matching one. The, it, as far as the um, notebook and some of the accessories, they have a whole set of things that kind of match with each other, you know, coordinating. And this one is a towel, which I thought was really pretty, and it definitely coordinates with it as well. It has the hearts and, you know, the really lovely birds, and I just thought it was super, super cute. So, picked up that. The next item is actually from my husband, and he's already broken into it. He's caught some sort of, I don't know if it's a head cold or what's going on, but um, he picked up the multi-symptom daytime liquid capsules, and it has like a pain reliever, cough suppressant, and decongestant. So, um... Hopefully that helps. <laughs> 
He also found this one when he was there, and this is kind of cool. This is a Cooking Concepts dishwasher safe mix and serve container, and it has all these measurements along the side with the cups. So if you're looking to do some cooking and you have to put like three quarters of a cup of this and a quarter cup of that, you can start adding all of this together and you can just pour it straight out. So it's kind of a good way to keep things from being, you know, less messy when you're cooking. So some of the next items are food related and you guys probably already know about these, but these are the Imperial Nuts. This is the antioxidant blend. It's banana chips, cranberries, almonds, cashews, and blueberries. So definitely if you're looking for healthy things, they do have them. I saw chia seeds and also um, some organic rice. Um, so I put pictures on Instagram if you guys are curious of you know what kinds of things they have there. And I also found this energy blend. It has almonds, pecans, walnuts, honey roasted peanuts, and honey roasted sesame sticks. So these are great like little you know snacks where you don't have to worry about, you know, it's a bunch of garbage, that type of thing. And the next few items are all kind of like freezer related items. There's definitely some stock up items here that we always buy when we go there and for very good reason. These are the well beloved Jennifer's Garden traditional vegetable spring rolls and we picked up two packs of these. These are awesome. They're super easy to cook. They taste delicious. So if you're looking for something new to try at the Dollar Tree, I would definitely try that out. Also, these are the vegetable and chicken pot stickers, the gyozas, and we always buy the spring rolls and the gyozas just because they're so yummy and they're really easy to cook. So if you're just looking for like a, like a quick type of thing, I'll definitely try them out. And then also, they have these huge, huge, huge burritos. These are the El Monterey bean and cheese burritos, the extra, extra large. They had the um, red hot beef and bean burrito, which is a spicy one. And then also the beef and bean burrito one. So some of this stuff is kind of junky, but if you're looking for like, you know, just like one of those weekend meals where it's just like a fun meal, then I would definitely look for those. Just of knowing whether any of these are good and because they looked interesting, we picked up some of these Fast Bites cheeseburgers. So um, this is the cheeseburger version. There's a breaded chicken sandwich as well. Picked up that one. And then also this is a spicy chicken sandwich, which sounds pretty good. So um, hopefully they're pretty good. And the next ones are these banquet quick fries and they're the crinkle cut. You can actually microwave them and they turn out really well. They turn out very similar to like uh, fast food type of fries. So if you're looking for something that's kind of like a guilty pleasure type of item, um, you know, these are really easy and they're limited quantity. So you can't go super, super crazy eating them. And we made the classic mistake that we usually make when we go to Dollar Tree. If you're hungry and you go to Dollar Tree, you're gonna walk out with a lot of junk. So uh, hopefully we won't go too crazy eating this all at once, but there's some stuff in here that, you know, just looked interesting. So, um, and I can't eat all of this anyway because I just got a tooth work on. So this is the orange crush ones and they're like Twizzlers basically, but orange crush flavored. My husband also picked up these chewy watermelon twists, which sound really awesome. And he picked up some Twizzlers as well. And these are the Hawaiian Punch Fruit Juicy Red. And the next ones are actually these Schultz Honey Wheat Braided Twist Pretzels. And these are some of my favorites. I think they're really great. If you don't want a cookie that's overly sweet, you just like kind of like an animal cracker type of cookie, these are great. These are the Pagasa um, iced cookies, and they do have a little bit of icing to them, but they're not like super, super sweet or anything. We also picked up some of the tortillas. These are the Lobo brand um, fajita sized tortillas. And if you'd like to make a good quesadilla, um, definitely good to pick up. Or you can just make like soft tacos or anything, but we usually use them for quesadillas. The next items look pretty cool. This is the Baked in Brooklyn um, All Natural Flatbread Crisps. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit more, you know, out of your normal wheelhouse, uh, they do have, you know, some kind of good looking products there. Uh, we also picked up some cup of noodles, and this is just for me because I have to be careful while I'm recovering from my root canal and eat soft foods and nothing super exciting. Um, also, these my husband found, and they sounded really cool, so they're going to have to tell me if these are any good. These are the Totina's Pizza Chips, and they're wheat crisps in the cheese flavor. I've never seen these, so if you guys have seen them or tried them, definitely let me know. I'm curious, but they're, they're new to our Dollar Tree at least. 
And these are not something I recommend for every day because they are really high in, high in sodium. But if you're looking for something that's just like kind of a comfort food to throw in your pantry, um, they had the beef stew and I picked up a couple cans of that. Um, also chicken and dumplings that I picked up to try. I've never tried this one before, but it doesn't have any milk. So I was kind of excited to test that out. And then also there's Southgate chili and beans. So we picked up a couple of those as well. So hopefully they're pretty good. So that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. If there's anything you want to hear any recommendations on or reviews of, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys are having a great week and hopefully a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.